in there, mm -hmm. let me show you. Okay, show you. This is the gate, which is called Barclays Gate, but in mm -hmm. essence, there are steps that lead down because the entrance coming from the inside, from the outside was much lower than the, than the level was originally. Gotcha. Uh -huh. uh, 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 right, so originally the original level lower okay. down, right. Okay, well, the, so that's Barclays Gate. Yeah. Right. So what used to so be. In other words, if you look up on um, Google... And this one is, what, this one's called what? Lower. This gate is called what? It's called Shah Mugrabin. Mugrabin. Moroccan, 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 the, uh, Moroccan gate. Uh, Moroccan gate. So this uh, is the other Morocco, side. Algeria, stuff like that. Okay. Okay, what are these? Now, this building from here all the way in mm -hmm. is the Islamic Museum. Okay. They have all the artifacts uh, from uh, maybe about a thousand years old, uh, feeding bowls where they used to feed the pilgrims, uh, columns, anything that they discovered up here, mm -hmm. they've made some sort of uh, a museum inside. I've never been inside actually, <laughs> but uh, because... Yeah. So what are these columns here for? What are these right. columns from? These columns are from the uh, the end of the Roman period, basically. Okay. I, I can't say Roman if they're eroding or not, but they're definitely Roman from the Roman period. Right. Okay. okay. Oh. So that's the Islamic right, Now, the other thing, of course, yeah. is that over the past year, year and a half, mm -hmm. they've set up women's study groups and the kololim for the men. Okay. <laughs> All right? Yeah. That uh, they just sit around making sure that we don't go anywhere we're not supposed to do. and. Okay. What it is, of course, it's, it's like a mobilized standing force. Mm -hmm. If anything, they need anything, you know, immediately scream, yell, push, and shove. Right. These are the first guys into the fray. Yes, I hear. Okay, where are we right now uh, relative right now, to the actual... Right now, we're on the south of the Temple Mount. Okay. Okay. Technically speaking, from the gate we entered, mm -hmm. straight across to the other side, mm -hmm. to the east side, if yeah. we could go all the way over there. Right. And it, on the outside is the famous seam. Okay. There's a seam about 32 meters from the south east corner of the Temple Mount, mm -hmm. which separates the south, which is a later Herodian Roman type of building, right, right. from the Hasmonean type of stones that you'll see. Okay. It's very apparent. It's, a, it's, it's as if okay. that's, where, that's where the whole. So everything on the Herodian side. Is why is the Temple Mount not identified with the Temple Mount? Right, right. Which the, the Temple so, Mount we call the Halach Temple Mount is the 500 square cubits, yes. within which, of course, there were varying degrees of sanctity. Yes. Okay? But the Herod extended it. He basically pulled out the floor. So this entire section is on the right of underneath us. underneath on the slope right. in order to extend it, and he did it on the north as well. Okay, so this the entire north, section he, is a Herodian He cut extension. into the hill. Okay. On the south, he raised up on columns the floor of the hill. Okay. Okay. So this everything that I'm looking at now is the Herodian extension, clearly. All this area all of this area is here. And the Alaxa exactly. itself. Well the Alaxa was really top is also a Herodian. Interesting. Right. I'll okay. show you exactly one of the reasons for it. Okay. By the way, all these boxes over here you see? Yeah. You see them on the inside? They're for the, for the shoes. shoes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We went to school, they yeah, had the cubby holes, the, uh, right? <laughs> right. Uh, let's get the kids playing. That's important. Right. When you see all this, the, uh, the stone throwing, yes. it's coming it's from, from here. here. So this is the actual Al-Aqsa right. this one over here. So this is the... And as you know, the the two southern gates into the Temple Mount were called the gates of Hulda. Mm -hmm. Right. One opinion is Hulda was the name of the prophet. Okay. The other one is Hulda is like a burrowing rodent. Okay. Okay. And what does that mean? It means that the the entrance you came in from the outside mm -hmm. underground and then popped up into the right, esplanade into the of the Temple Mount. Uh -huh. I went down here in '86. Right. All the way to the southern wall. Wow. All right, before that, they have now a huge extension of the mosque down here, the Marawani Mosque and others and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I'll show you I'll show you on the other side a little bit. Okay. And so, but at that time, it was simply an archaeological tunnel. Right. Okay, and you went all the way through to the far end, and you could see exactly how the situation was. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we know okay. that probably... 
so I think something came up. Mm -hmm. They entered into the uh, into the Temple Mount area. So right, right. From there, so all the up. south is an extension. Right, right. Okay, so theories of putting the 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 temple structures mm -hmm. over here, like the Sagiv, right, doesn't fit with the closeness to the southern extension. Oh, right, oh, no, no, no. it wouldn't be a real temple, it would just be like a uh, short. I mean, it would just be uh... See, the guy now to our right is informing people that we're giving okay, too much good. of an explanation. Okay, good. I will, uh, we're storming. That's what we're doing right now. We're storming. Okay, this wall is not very good. If you look at some of the maps and mm -hmm. pictures yes. of the Temple Mount in the 19th century, mm -hmm. you see a great change in the way Al-Aqsa extensions are. There were additions that were existed that were taken down and some that were rebuilt again and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, um, right over here you had extensions mm -hmm. that were taken down in the 30s. Probably because of the earthquake maybe. Taken down. Like that. Okay, so there were, so, so that's what the, over here was old extensions you're saying. This whole area, mm -hmm. okay, yeah. Basically, if we walk also this area, we're standing on Solomon's temples. Uh, Solomon's oh, Solomon's stables. Stables. Stable. Stable. Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> what that was, of course, again, was the construction in order to make the floor straight. He had to go down and raise a lot of pillars. Right. Okay. Over there with those tourists are standing. We mm -hmm. won't go that far because yeah. it's a big a bit of a schlep. Yeah. It's called Jesus' is co the corner of the cradle, or Jesus, the, cr the cradle of Jesus' corner. Okay. Okay? <laughs> Why? According to the Christian uh, belief, mm -hmm. or the Muslim belief of the Christian interpretation, yeah. Jesus was brought here when he was very young to see the temple where he would take over. Okay. And in fact, uh, there is uh, steps leading down mm -hmm. that connect into an underground passage. Really? Okay. From Underneath the, uh, mm -hmm. the, the Al-Aqsa. Uh, okay, under the... Because okay. what happened was, when we did that, after we left, mm -hmm. we were attacked. Really? And one of the parliamentary assistants got stuck inside. <laughs> and they led him, he <laughs> said, I don't know what happened. I, they took my hand, yeah. and they led me all, all the, the way, way down that way. And they came up through there. Because <laughs> everybody was screaming and yelling <laughs> over here. <laughs> what year was this? 86. 86, so okay. So at the time you went to the tunnel, they went crazy when you went to yes. do that. Uh -huh. Let's do a quick look over here. Since we'll, I know we'll get there, but okay. And along the wall, basically, if I'm not mistaken, where the big niche is, more or less, mm -hmm. that's where the southern bulge is, ah. where Jordan and, and right, Egypt, where and Egypt and Jordan, and yeah, yeah. like that, they're trying to fix to the right. bulge of the uh, of, from the pressure within from the, from the earth. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know whether we're going to come back this way. Then l let me let me point out. If you see at the very bottom mm -hmm. of the wall from the beginning of the raised platform, yes. For example, on either side of those pillars, yeah. You'll notice the original stonework. That is original stonework over there. In other words, that's in other words we, that's, uh, that's one of the points that strengthens our belief mm -hmm. that indeed the platform is where the temple right. precincts originally were, not, so and not further north according to Kaufman or further south according to Sagi. We can walk closer than that, though. Right? We couldn't go. Yeah, we, we can't walk. Closer. Okay, just want to. Okay. Uh, which way do you want to go? You want to go that way? Okay. Now, one thing I want to point out, if you can zero in, can you see that carved off column, sheared column, a great Over column? there, all the way down there, yeah, hold on. All the way yeah, down there? Yeah, 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 let's okay. get to it. Okay, that's the Sabra Shatila Memorial. That, really? Yes. Wow, that's interesting. Now, <laughs> what had happened was, when I first began coming up here, mm -hmm. all this area was clean mm -hmm. as if it was an olive grove. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. And because of our continued ascents, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. And at, at that time in the seventies, attempts to pray. Right. So they decided to begin to build open air platforms to take over. Right. Parts that we can. The uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what's it called? Uh, the uh, the area between the lines. Uh, oh, the, oh, the DMZ. Whatever it is, <laughs> like yeah, that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. 
The same thing as you can see here. This is all new stuff. Yeah, this is clearly when we new were stuff. Here, yeah. It was all Herodian paving. Really? You wow, it's the, a shame. The, you know, the large flagstones about and three Israel, four feet wide. The Israel Antiquities Authority had no problem with that? <laughs> they, they give in to the powers that be. Yeah. What are they building here? What's this stuff over here? What? Oh, these are just prayer mats? What are these? No, this is, uh, this is insulation. For oh, okay. The, uh, uh, in Israel, you put this up and you put tar on it in order oh, okay. to uh, seal it. Oh, so there's just only their building over there. There's the largest mosque in the world. Underneath us? Yeah, underneath us is, is the 5,000 seat Marani, or 5,000 kneeling position. Marani. Right, Marani, okay. <laughs> huh? So we got to seal this. Yeah, we'll go steps to show you. Okay. Oh, this is the area, if you, if you remember, the story of under Barak when they were taking out tons of material. Yes. You know, 120 yeah. trucks in one yeah, or yeah, two yeah. nights and stuff like that. Right. This was all from here. So try to imagine mm -hmm. all this covered over right, with from all where we're standing things. all the way to the eastern wall. All the way with All this was dug out. So what are all these stones that are over here? These are... Uh, Removed from somewhere else. But are these ancient ones, or are they some, some of them are? Some of them look, ancient, look like they're. I can't say whether they're uh, Byzantine or Crusader. Right. They might be more Crusader because of. But even so, it's just amazing that they can to take these up. Well, they have oh. permission to do so. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like some of these are. Oh. <laughs> Besides. Archaeological destruction, besides lack of engineering uh, supervision, mm -hmm. the fact is that's one of the most dangerous places in the world because Ramadan comes, they stuff 6,000 people in there. And if right, God right, forbid something should happen, the underground you know, about 3,000 would die in being uh, trampled. Mm -hmm. So this is the new so this is how they get stairway, to the new this is how they get in, they go in, and they, the whole area underneath from there mm -hmm. to the al -Aqsa Mosque. Is all is, the mosque. Uh, is open. How far down it goes into the actual Solomon stables and stuff like that, I don't know because I've never been down there and I don't right, think okay. anybody, maybe the police sometimes go down there. This arch, when's that from? Can you tell? Uh, I don't know. It was probably uh, reconstructed uh, from what they found. I doubt if it was left like that. Okay. And the other stuff that's up there, these steps and stuff like that? The steps, that's or? all uh, Crusader. It's all Crusader stuff. All so Crusader and later be. Ottoman, basically, I presume. So what, did the, what were the Crusaders doing on the Temple Mount? What did they, uh, they, they built stuff? They had the Temple Solomon. I know, but 10, I, didn't know, I didn't know they built stuff on 10, top of here. From sure they built it. I know the Byzantines did. I didn't know that the, uh, the Crusaders also built. Yeah. Interesting. So this wall is essentially a Crusader wall? or No, this is no. the Ottoman wall. So this is Ottoman, okay. This would be a great Hollywood production spot for, you know, <laughs> shooting arrows and right, yeah. boiling oil and stuff like that. <laughs> so now we're essentially going... In the 70s, we used to walk along the top there. Oh, really? Okay. Right. Now they... you can't do anything anymore. So now we're essentially on the eastern We're on part. the eastern wall uh, uh, side. Um, the furthest we can get east of the main uh, platform. Mm -hmm. um, this is the normal way in which those who keep a minimum of halakha right. uh, <laughs> uh, go around. Mm -hmm. uh, there, are, there is others, of course, and me too, who walk closer next to the platform right. where you saw that Sabra Shatila right, right. Uh, column. We'll walk along there. Okay. okay. I mean, so there's just two levels essentially here. So you're saying that the second level you would... We're on the first or... We're in the first. We're, we're outside, in fact, the entire Azarot system, mm -hmm. uh, which was uh, 135 by 185 uh, cubits, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. And uh, which would be Machina uh, uh, Shechina. Then it would be Machina Levia, and then it would be regular Harabite. Okay. okay, we're completely outside any of the... Mm -hmm. uh, any of This the is also Herodian, this uh, section we're on right here? I... I don't that know. Part okay. I know that part, the far, the far no, south part is. Part the Look, the east, east part, I just... Uh, A lot of this stuff is, is thrown away from other places. It's all mixed up. Mm -hmm. What archaeologists call in situ, in other words, in right. place, when right, you right. actually find it, yeah. almost doesn't exist anymore here in the Temple Mount because of not only what they have done recently over the past 10 years or so, mm -hmm. 15 years, but also because of the ages. It's, uh, it's, it's very difficult. Uh, we had no Shlita whatsoever. Mm -hmm. um, 
I have a story in which in February 1873, an old Jew mm -hmm. who went to a Tehillim Zuga uh, thing, although he was Faradi, so he didn't say Tehillim Zuga, right. right? He was killed. He walked into here by accident and he was killed, and they found his body thrown mm -hmm. over the wall. Right. So it's very difficult. Get a picture of you. Okay. Here, what we do is we explain mm -hmm. yeah. that now you can understand what they call Shir Malot, the Madrigot. Right. What okay. the, the topography of the Temple Mount? Because sure. from here you can see, so you can see this the ascent up. walking up from right. the various uh, levels going up. Like yeah. That. So let me zoom in on that. And uh, so far they haven't. Uh, you know, they have some prayer rugs and all sorts of things like that. So yeah. they're, they're, they're trying to make it difficult for people to stop here and, and say anything and stuff like that. Sure. So sure. It's, uh, Okay. Most of the mechanical equipment is usually kept in that area out there. We'll see it when we come Okay. <coughs> and uh, even the Muslims don't like hang out over here. It looks like there's nothing that really happens on this. Well, it depends. It, 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 Wait, it's rocky, it's like a... Uh, yeah, but uh, someone will take charge eventually. Yeah. They're, they're a little bit slow in the uptake, but yeah, they'll, yeah. they'll <laughs> go figure things out eventually. Yeah, yeah. And these, you think, that are still Crusader? They like these steps over here also, or Crusader or Ottoman? No, I'm yeah. probably uh, from the Ottoman period already. This re most of, all the wall from here mm -hmm. was Ottoman from okay. 1516 to 1536, basically. Mm -hmm. So he might have built on things that weren't destroyed. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> a little bit faster. Okay. So now we're at the northeast corner? Or now, not no, 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 we're not. Now this no. is the Golden Gate. Oh, okay. Okay. Which has a huge structure inside. You'll see it in a second. Mm -hmm. Which I always wanted for the synagogue because it has two a double room situation. Okay. <laughs> so I think it was already built for us. Uh, okay. They don't seem to understand our spiritual needs. Yeah. <laughs> it is just a remarkable amount of stuff to see over here. It really is. Okay, yeah, well, that's yeah, this is. Okay, you can see the sign with Bet al Maqdis, arms, and Zakat. But it means merit. Uh, right, you know, right, yeah. And this is, you can see the double rooms. You see uh, okay. You see? Yeah. Interesting. Really got your mechanical stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Also, these things all over the place mm -hmm. are, they lead down into the cis underground systems of the Temple Mount. Because uh -huh. in the Gemara it says, Kipin al Gabe Kipin. Because mm -hmm. how did they build the temple in order to keep it from, from the uh, Tumat to home? Right. So the whole thing was built on. So these are original? I mean, obviously the, the no, outside original. is original, but they lead the to. The holes are the original. The holes are original. It leads back down to the original. There may be about 30 like this, 30 uh -huh. 40 holes all over the place. How do I know? Yeah. Because when uh, Ralph Gorin and uh, uh, Ralph Getz discovered mm -hmm. the uh, entrance to one of the underground chambers, right? Right. And some more we they started to draw the water out. Right. <laughs> and the Muslims up on top heard the noise. Mm -hmm. And they opened up the manhole, the, well, the system covers. Uh -huh. And it came down they by ropes. Down. Wow. <laughs> okay. It was a wild day. Yeah. <laughs> and here's again more super uh, heavy equipment over here that they're using to do whatever they have to do. Yeah. It's like. Now, usually, in any other archaeological spot, you always have a uh, Israel Antiquities Authority person just, right. just standing around looking. Exactly right. I don't. I didn't see anybody like that here. Yeah. And I didn't see any close mm -hmm. police supervision. Right. So there are things that shouldn't be done. Mm -hmm. We but passed the uh, Golden Gate. Right. That gate is the gate of the tribes. The Faisal Gate is a little further on, and the Dark Gate. Shara Choshet is a little bit further. There's three gates on the okay. on the northern wall. This is the Paris Purple Oh, this is the gate, really? Oh, really, from the north. Interesting. 
I, for some reason, I always assumed it was from the, no, from no, the west no, no. side. They, they came up, they came around Rockefeller, went down the hill and came up to the Lions. Came Lions up came to the the cook. Wow. Well, that when Ralph T. U., the cook, came up here. Yeah. They put him on a Jeep and drove him through. Drove him through, okay. To the Cotel. Uh huh. Okay, so everybody yeah, yeah. said, you know, Altas uh, Capandria. Right. Don't make the Harabayat a. Uh, it's all right. It's a, a, a walk a short, you know, short, shortcut. Shortcut, shortcut like yeah. That. that was okay to yeah, talk. Yeah. You know, that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Now, all this area that you see now, which mm -hmm. is very nicely planted over and yeah. very well kept, mm -hmm. when I first came here, mm -hmm. it was rubble, yeah. and you could still see, especially in the, in the northwest corner, mm -hmm. the huge, I call them flagstones, the huge Herodian type of stones, you know, five right. by five feet or something And they're all like gone that. now. They're all covered over. They're covered, oh, they're covered. They're, they're covered. still under I don't know. I, so don't know. I doubt <laughs> if they tore them out. They just okay. covered them over. Uh -huh. In other words, erasing mm -hmm. in all sorts of ways, whether construction, whether planting, uh, whatever you want to do, any sort of Jewish historical right. identification. Sure. They, with they're it. covering over, however they right. can. You can see here. Oh, this is the other way of going up. That the gray building is the one that you, they think was used as a model, mm -hmm. uh, a miniature construction to see how the, the oh, uh, how that would work. Oh, so it was the yeah. Al Aqsa Mosque before the Dome of the Rock, you're saying. And this gate is which one again? With this Faisal or Hashuk? These are schools. Is Huta? Huta? No, no, it's not Khoshek. No? Yes, Shashratim, Faisal. No, it's Huta Khazir Faisal. Ah, okay. Faisal's over there. Okay, so what's this one? This is. I'm not a diplomat. Yeah, okay. And he always likes this. He always like this also surprise the Waqf God too. Yeah. You know, also you realize I'm here. <laughs> How many times have you been here? 350, 350 400. Okay. <laughs> I pres the way he looks, I presume he's been here a thousand times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't start till the 1990s. Huh? I didn't start till the 1990s. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was first thrown out of here in the early, in okay. late 1970. Okay. Now, this building over here yeah. is built on the hill. Mm -hmm. Overlooking the Temple Mount. Right. Okay. So it was probably where what they call the the Acro, the Hakra was, the Roman garrison that overlooked the Temple Mount. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. And we you can see at some point eventually mm -hmm. you can see where they sheared away the wall. In other words, they cut into the into the stone wall. Right. In order to extend the Temple Mount to the north. Gotcha. Because basically from over there through this area over here, underneath, mm -hmm. there's a little bit of a vadi. What do you mean, oh, vadi, okay. Oh, okay, oh, oh, oh. On, on the maps from the 1870s and 90s, if you mm -hmm. look at it, right. you'll see a bit of a... Like a little creek uh, or whatever. Yeah. In 1951, we were on th those roofs, I think, to look over the Temple Mount. Oh, the, that was the closest 51. you could get. You were here in 51? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Anyway, that's yeah. where the Mufti had his big uh, congresses and stuff like that. We have, if you go into uh, the Matson collection, mm -hmm. you can see some pictures of the Palestinian delegation and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Uh -huh. uh, uh, congresses and all sorts of things like that that was held right. in the Omaria school. Uh -huh. And for the first 10 or so years, we could, in the afternoon, like 2 o'clock, when mm -hmm. school was over, we'd come in mm -hmm. and look through those windows uh -huh. in order to get one an unfettered uh, view, view of the, of the, uh, the Arabians. Interesting. The building that we're coming up to mm -hmm. is the Waqf offices. Uh -huh. It's a double building. It sits right to the north of the Shah. It's called Shah Majlis. Mm -hmm. Majlis means like. Um, like a government administrative office or something okay. like that. Yeah. And uh, is this a gate as well, or no? We're going to go. Okay, we go around. There's only one gate we go out through. That's okay. No, I'm saying is this also a gate though? Of, of yeah. Oh, the, oh, the Bab al Nazir. Bab al Nazir. Where's the um, the gate? When you go, it's a bit far down. When you uh, next to the, uh, what should we call it? Okay. Next to the um, Hotel Katan. There's a gate there. 
Yeah, that's uh, Sha. It's called the, uh, the Iron Gate. That's the Iron Gate. How does that fit into like over here? Because it looks like it walks into an open space. Yeah, we'll see it right over there. But I wanted to point out something. But we're so high up, I couldn't figure that out. That's down, and how does that? Uh, it feels like we're high up. I don't know. So um, I couldn't quite jive that. This stuff over here mm -hmm. is what I call the eroding flex ones that I've been talking about. If right, you imagine right. hundreds of these all over the place, sure, that's basically sure. what it was. And according to Kaufman, mm -hmm. the alignment of this wall, mm -hmm. the angle of it, is indicative of how he how he fits out the devere, the, right. the the inner building of the uh, of the of the temple mount. Right. But he f he uses so the dome of the design. spirits as one of his uh, pinpoints, and a lot of people do just say it's too far north. Well, okay, I hear. You know, like certainly everything at this line. You know, we're on this side of this line. We're fine. Right. Okay. So Eighty-five to ninety percent of all halakhic authorities mm -hmm. agree with the Radbaz in his famous tshuva yeah. of one thousand. One tafresh, mm -hmm. so it's uh, 691, I think, is the one. Right, okay. Where he says the masorat is that the evanashti, the sakhra, yeah. the stone the under the thing, yeah. is the evanashti. Right. It also fits according to topography. That's the highest point. It's right. Okay. Yeah, that makes. It would be very sorry. difficult to. to uh, Lay out the Temple Mount according mm -hmm. to, to the Gemara and Midot. Right. If you yeah, don't right, use you don't that, do that. exactly, just, you're forced to mm -hmm. really find other mm -hmm. instances. So over here, now we're on the western. Now we're on the western wall. Right. Um, this is the original Kotel. The original Kotel. What do you say? The, the original. What they say? Shkina Lozav. Right. So this is the so where that uh, where that platform is. I know, but the platform over here really is the original Kotel. Is what you're saying? Okay. The next gate over. I think this is the Iron Gate. I'm not mistaken. The Iron Gate. It says Iron Gate. Yeah. So this is the gate. So this is it. Okay. Okay. So it looks like so. So how far down are we? That's what I'm trying to figure out because it's right here. Is the Kotel Akatan. But yeah. how over there we're so much higher than the ground yeah, level. Because is there so this lead, the it's mount, like the mountain? We're, out, a, we're at basically at the top of the mountain. Another interesting thing mm -hmm. is there are four graves in the Kotel. Mm -hmm. Four uh, graves, there's, okay. All right, there's one of Muhammad Ali, who okay. was the leader of the Muslim community in India who died in 31. Mm -hmm. There is Khad al Husseini, the famous guerrilla fighter of the 48 War. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, uh, what's his name? Um, the guy who was in charge of the Orient House. What was his name? Husseini something or other. I can't remember. Yeah. And a fourth person. They wanted to bury Arafat here. The so they're putting, so they have the Palestinian movie. flags here and they have the... Right. Uh, well, they, it's, it's the Arab national flag. The national colors were mixed up. But, but okay, the yeah. point yeah. was, yeah. is that in 1981-82, some WAC officials went into the police building that's over there. Mm -hmm. And a guy had a little Israeli flag pennant. And they came out screaming and yelling, they're flying the Israeli right, flag yeah. over the Temple Mount. <laughs> right. And you can't do that in this sacred right. holy sure, spite. Sure, yeah, so I said, what's that? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, so no one, instead of answering and saying, what's that? Yeah. You know, what's yeah, wrong with my pennant? It's right, an official. Right. Yeah. They yeah. all yeah. fell over backwards trying to explain themselves. Abdullah was, Ab Abdullah was killed here? Yeah. This is where yeah. he was. Uh, well, uh, yeah. the, the first the king. First Abdullah, yeah. Right, yeah. We were, we're right where we were standing before? Yeah. You know, when we came, I showed you the columns of Al-Aqsa? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. The, right there was the, the uh, there. assassin was standing behind one of the columns, uh -huh. and he came out and plugged them. Uh-huh. Okay. These are some of the soccer courts that we have up here. The what, sir? Soccer courts. Soccer, oh, really? So, yeah. Oh, there we go. That's right. We've got to do that. That we have to do. This is it. Here we have to have that. This is important. We have to do Okay. okay. The holy site? Yes, the holy soccer stadium. Didn't get a great shot of it, but okay. So this is it. In addition to all the religious schools here, mm -hmm. you have to realize there are about another 30 to 40 schools, libraries, <laughs> uh, Higher yeshiva learning studies yeah, right. and stuff okay. like that, all sorts uh -huh. of things like that. This is the cotton gate. The cotton gate, gotcha. Right? Okay, so right, I got that. Okay. 
So this is the uh, so it's going straight through here. To the end, there's a turn on the right, which will bring you in the back way to the uh, Kotel Katan. Right, right. Like yeah, yeah, that is, yeah. And that's the famous, the famous cotton uh, market. Market, right? Yeah, yeah. According to the Gemara, yeah. the Sanhedrin yeah. fled from the Temple Mount. The first stop was Shah Kutna. Really? Yes. So they went down this way. Interesting. So this is the. Uh, Eventually, they ended up in the Galil. The uh -huh. sign there, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. the gate was redone, renovated in 1354, I think is the date. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, on I'm the zooming in on the it. Sign. So I see. Yeah, 13. So, yeah. And this is typical Mameluk type of architecture. Right. With the black and white and the curves and the and the, uh, and mm -hmm. the drip uh, type of uh, right. uh, construction. Okay. And what's this gate? A Blushin gate. What's this? Uh, this is where one of the aqueducts from Brechot uh, Shlomo, Solomon's Pools, ends up. Ah. Okay. Okay, and that's where they have the toilets there. Okay. <laughs> okay. So here I got to grab, grab a shot of this. But anybody taking pictures? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? I'd like to zoom in on them, but uh, too many things to keep track of here. So, halakhically, we could actually walk into the Al Aqsa Mosque. There's no reason why not. Yeah. There's, uh, no reason. Manuscripts, restoration sent. I mean, these are all sorts of yeah, the Islamic good. study things. They've done a mm -hmm. very good job of making use of the area. Mm -hmm. Now, those windows over there, the last windows on the wall, yeah. just beyond the right, right. that's Rabbi Gorin's synagogue. I don't know if you ever oh, really? seen some of my posts where I say on Mincha, on Tisha B'Av, on oh, really? Davening, on the Temple Mount, or uh -huh. actually above the Temple Mount. Really? So, so there is a shul up there. There is a shul up there. It belongs to the Magav, the border police. Uh, mm -hmm. Their base is based. Right. This is the Machkameh building over here. Uh -huh. Okay. When we come out of the gate, you can see it again, the door right. leading to it. Okay. And, the, and half of the building is mm -hmm. on the other side of the western wall. Right. Really? That's where he built the synagogue. Uh -huh. Very so cute. on uh, on Tisha B'Av we have a minion at four and a minion at five. Mm -hmm. uh, the first one is Rabbi Gorin's son mm -hmm. and the Avi, and the second one is Rab Drukman and Rab Valbrin. Uh, usually about uh, fifty to eighty boys try to push their way into there, right. and the women are in the back on the other side of the kotel. <laughs> So but it's really on this side of the hotel, really. When so the Rabbanit so. Gorin, yeah. uh, Tzviya used to come along, she would go inside too. She, would, <laughs> okay. she, she wouldn't so allow herself to be put in the back. So it's actually closer, that, so that shul is actually closer than the hotel is also. To right, the, it's on uh, the yeah, other, it's on the the other side, side yeah, of the yeah. kotel. So. Wow. so how come uh, they don't have normal minyanim there, or do they regularly yeah, have Because it's in the base, and it's, uh, they, they don't, you know, the Go Rab Gorin had Ni'ila, Right and uh, and uh, mincha for for Tisha B'av as as uh -huh. the thing. And that was what he did. They tried to disrupt it, and, and the that was the mm -hmm. compromise. That right. Was the gotcha. Go over here. What's this thing? You have any idea? I don't know. I don't know. It's okay. <laughs> Who knows? So we're going in. Okay. All right, this is the uh, okay. and this the is how we chain get gate, and yep. this is where we go out. So usually okay. we give a little bit of honor by walking out backwards. Rather okay. Than <laughs> uh, how about do I, I'm going to still be able to go around and get my uh, stuff. Okay. I'll, I'll lead you back to the coast of the area. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, okay yeah, that's, that's fine. So this is the chain gate as we go out. Chain. Okay. Very nice. I didn't even know you can go out this way. Very nice. Okay. You can't come in here. Right. You can only go out. Okay, very good. All right. Thank you.